Hey everybody, how you doing? It's uh, John Canal here coming to you once more uh, begging for your help in respect to innocent lives being held forsaken in the city of Winnipeg. There's a mass murder campaign out of the Health Sciences Center. The police are forbidden by the city to investigate. I have all the evidence that my mother was first degree murdered right in front of us. She has no pain. They're giving her fentanyl. She has All she has is this infection that she just acquired the day before and they're giving her devil's breath. And I say, no, don't do that. You're going to spread the infection. The hydromorphone weakens her ability to breathe. You know, they don't disagree with me as recorded. And then I step out for a minute for coffee and then they give her devil's breath to kill her right in front of me. Oh, she asked for it. And I have that recorded where the nurse says she asked for it. And they murdered her right there. I caught them murdering her a month earlier. And I couldn't get her out of there. I begged the police, please help me. No. CBC, please help me. No. Alex Jones, please help me. No. Nobody's going to help you. And then I find out that there's uh, as many as 10,000 other victims here. Because the College of Physicians and Surgeons, you know, are ruled by law that if it becomes a criminal matter, they can't get involved. So they can't investigate my mom's murder. They say it has to go through the police. And the police say we will never investigate any capital offense that occurs at the hospital. That's just the rules. It has to go through to the um, the chief medical inspector. That means after your fucking loved one has been murdered, right? You can't do anything until after your loved one's murdered. My mom had been assaulted, physically assaulted, big black eye by Nurse Delaney. She punches my mom in the eye. Say they, The other doctor says, they tell you all these things to your face. They believe, I guess, Satan is uh, the ruler of... Uh, all things uh, fair or otherwise, right? There, there, there's no escape. They claim for you too. You know, if you're not going to stand up for my mother's life, of which I have all the evidence indicating it's premeditated murder, you won't stand up for anybody. Just as Alex Jones refused to, maybe you too would side the same. Not to speak for the interests of innocent mass murder victims in the city of Winnipeg, right? They're doing the same Obama does in the you know these democracies he bombs for Saudi Arabia. But here's something real close to home, American less than. Because guess why? This program they're implementing right across the 50 states. Go check it out, right? I have no authority. We didn't sign for any suicide. The doctor determines you're going to go into comfort care, deprive medicines, and poison to die. Phone them yourself. You know, this is the nature of God and Satan and everything. I'm not lying to you. You phone them yourself and ask them. Right? They murdered my mother. Right in front of me, they need to be arrested. They knew they were taking her life. Because I say to him, as recorded, no, we do, do not want something. He claimed devil's breath wouldn't cross the blood-brain barrier. The fuck is he talking about? You know, he glees in this, right? He fetishes, he fetishes in it. That's why his comments are so strange. Right? He thinks I'm some fucking idiot or whatever, and he wants to glee in the fact that I would be the one responsible for my mom's death by not... Uh, Opposing such fucking crazy talk. Scopolamine is devil's breath. My mom has an infection. You're going to spread the infection. But with fentanyl, it's deadly. She becomes instantly paralyzed. Then the hospital forbids all autopsies. If a doctor says your loved one is comfort care, you cannot have an autopsy. But, you know, that's the rule to determine cause of death. They say, oh, well, well, we'll give you the other autopsy. Doesn't, you know, <clears throat> what are you doing it for? You know, they won't determine what infection my mom had or what the cause of death was by doing a blood test, as we knew that they gave her something the doctor said he wouldn't do to my mom consciously. Right, my mom's awake there. He tells her he's not giving her any new poisons this week. Our new doctor said she wouldn't introduce any new poisons to uh, our family, and we all took a sigh of relief. But that, you know, minutes later, fucking in for the kill. But that's just the evidence, right? So the police can't look at it. I got video. Look at it, you fuck. At least the RCMP look at it and they know that there's a crime occurring here. Why can't you look at it? Don't be a dishonorable cop. You know, if you know a police officer in Winnipeg, you get him this video and the information, the video, the archives and videos and audios of uh, officers saying that we can't defend Canadian lives on this matter. And I'm sure you're defined that person of you know to be fucking a fellow human being just like the rest of us who do they think we are fellow officers of law 
and order we are this is our community police officers don our uniforms to defend we the people not first degree murderers who who claim law does not apply in their jurisdiction that is our city our hospital financed by the public taxpayer Support warning the people in Winnipeg that the TV doesn't care for further innocent lives stolen. And we'll all be better for it, man. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I'm going to sing a song to you. I'll tell you about how special that this place could be. If you stood up for yourself. Demand it's self-respect likewise. Your your rights mean something. Take possession of yourself in this uh, critical time. Stand for what's right. Where do I begin to tell the story of how great a love can be? The sweet love story that is older than the sea. Truth about the love she brings to me. Where do I start? With her first hello, she gave a meaning to this empty world of mine. I've never been another love, another time. She came in soon. Alive and dead, a living fan. She fills my heart. She fills my heart with very special things, angel songs, with wild imaginings. She fills my soul with so much love. so alone in this universe so alone that uh, being a lover to God or freedom I am most definitely you know God wasn't there to warn me that my mom was about to be murdered in a situation that had no escape you know it's a no win no matter what and God couldn't give me this much to save my mother's life and yet I'm born of this moment I remember there was a time where I had to just give it all away I had to it was, it was just too insane I couldn't even believe what was going on. And and all these structures uh, that have been a part of how I've tried to command myself respectfully and having huge consequences mean nothing in the whole overall be all end all of all things that matter. Enough for God to say, oh, by the way, don't do that. Your mom's going to be murdered there. These are fucking psychopaths, satanic fucking enemies of God and man. So, uh, once again, you know, we're always compelled to face this, uh, face the music. And what is that music? It's that we, we are responsible for ourselves. If, if we don't do it, no, it's not going to get done. So thinking that somebody, it's somebody else's responsibility, when if you phone the police in Winnipeg yourself, they'll tell you they're not allowed to investigate. That's fucked up, right? We are not powerless here, because we know 99.9% .9 of police officers disapprove of this conduct, this criminality at the front desk of the public safety building. So they want to tell you it's all the cops in Winnipeg want to kill the poor. And that's not the case at hand here. We've got to be innocent until thought otherwise. We know that the public safety building is complicit in the murder of my mother. 
Right? They didn't tell me while she was being tortured that they wouldn't be getting involved in any way whatsoever. Not until she's murdered. And like I say, they didn't tell me that the system was rigged only until your mom is murdered. Then go talk to fucking uh, Mark O'Rourke. Complicit in the murder, according to his own words, thousands and thousands of citizens in Winnipeg, he disallows uh, the police from looking at uh, when, it, when it's alleged they were murdered. He doesn't allow an autopsy. No autopsies to determine cause of death. The chief medical uh, examiner for the province of our uh, Manitoba right nobody can be found out that they're complicit in murdering the poor here even though Johnny has all the evidence and as it is in the structure of this suffering circumstance this extends to 9-11 they just don't let the police investigate and so you succumb to sacrifice your rights thinking you know I don't I, I don't want to be fearful I want to believe in faith that somebody else is taking care of this and there is no FBI officers that have been allowed to investigate 9-11 since it's transpired. Those who say they are need to be arrested for treason. You know, the FBI were, were threatened with arrest to follow probable cause as to who financed the terrorist attack according to the evidence trail. Right? It's not up to Alex Jones to decide the guilt or innocence of those we find uh, as the evidence dictates. Right? That's according to the FBI that it's financed by General Mahmoud, uh, pardon me, well, General Mahmoud Ahmad through Muhammad Atta, who has no Al-Qaeda connections, except for what's made up in 2003 by Alex Jones' personal friend, Anthony Schaefer. By the hours in a day. You know, so when it hits this close to home and people you know get murdered, like, holy fuck, you know, it's, uh, God is, uh, you know, <laughs> You know, if you could, at some point, I hope, look at this for yourself and go, you know, fate has dealt me quite a cruel hand. And so I have no choice but to fight for justice here. And it looks rather bleak. Because I tell Americans, I go, look, they stole trillions of dollars. Don't you want that money back plus interest? Americans, can you hear me, Americans? Well, you're going to have to forward this to your neighbor because apparently they can't hear what I'm saying. You know, it's a fact. I, have, I would have open line calls, as I've done for many years, but you can send me an email. I'm, I'm in the public. You know, you can go to my G Plus page and post something right at the top so all my fans will see it right away, you know. And the allegations I make are open to all to comment whatever you want. And I'll respond to people who are, uh, you know, questing uh, further understandings or debate them and, you know, whatever. Not Alex Jones, you know. They can't allow you to freely understand how these crimes occurred. Now, what's curious is when you do post the evidence on whatever crime you want, to fans of Alex Jones, such as the InfoWars uh, Facebook groups, they're dead. They won't do it. They, it. It's a form of cult sacrifice, those who support Alex Jones, because they don't go, well, I've never heard that before. You know, about Sandy Hook and the fucking, he, the, they have pictures of Adam Lanza as a fully f grown adult. It's not the photograph they keep showing of him when he was 12, 10 years or so earlier. And he's got big feet. He doesn't have tiny sneakers on. Are you crazy? The eyewitness says he's wearing boots. How can Adam Lanza, appearing 12 years old, be wearing uh, size seven and a half boys sneakers? Get real. That's the evidence. So you don't want to go by the evidence. You want to say it's all done by the globalist Alex Jones fan. And so it's strange because out of all the groups that I'll post to, that's the one where you just get dead, dead air. And you know there's like 13,000 people there. Dead air. Nothing. You're not going to even click like. Fuck. Holy shit. You know, to show uh, the situation for what it truly is and what Alex Jones denies them an understanding of. So people want to be uh, uh, enslaved by Saudi Arabia. That's why they don't complain. Fans of Alex Jones, they want America to die in the hands of uh, Saudi Arabia, apparently. Time and time again I see A love that seems strong was not meant to be Broken hearts don't always mend You left you unsure To try love again But just betray you and me Always I know it This love's gotta be, baby Love's gotta be 
It's just got to be. So forward the information. Tell people about the important important development in Winnipeg where we're not going to let them uh, mass murder us any longer without uh, at least complaining. Let people in Winnipeg know. Save people's lives, man. All right. Talk to you soon.